So now we're gonna talk about my kitty, um, my cat, which is my second um, animal that I have. So I got recently just got a new kitten. I don't know if you guys really know, but um, my new kitten is a blessing to me as well. As you guys know, I am, or if some of you may know, I am a cat, really, I'm a cat person. I love cats. I mean, I'm a dog and cat person, but I love cats. I connect with cats a lot more than I do with dogs. Um, I just, I've always had good connections with cats and I've always met good cats. So my kitty, um, I just want to tell you guys what I named him. I actually recently got him for my birthday from one of my good friends. Shout out to her. I love her so much. Thank you so much for giving me an amazing cat because he is amazing. So yes, my cat's name is um, Titus. I named him Titus after um, the Roman god in um, Greek mythology, basically. And also a mixture between tiger, because he's definitely a very ferocious tiger person, like cat. Um, he's very majestic. He's so like cunning. He's also a hunter. He's definitely a fighter. He scratches me a lot on my hands and on my feet and on my legs but we'll get into that in just a little bit so pretty much um titus he was about eight weeks old he's now nine weeks and i am actually going to take him to the his first vet appointment tomorrow um he's going to get his shots so i'm super excited for his vaccinations because then i can really start training him to you know maybe walk outside um i actually bought him a leash so that's pretty good um, but anyways, I want to talk to you guys about Titus and his personality. So Titus is very, um, he can be skittish in some certain um, areas. Um, when he's in his like food frenzy, he gets really energetic and he always wants to run everywhere. He runs, he flings on beds and he flings on poles and stuff like that are in, that's in my room. He has a really cute hammock um, chair thing. Um, where he um, can play on and sit. He doesn't really sit on it as much, but I try to um, make sure that I force him to do it so that he can at least, you know, maybe have some joy out of it. Um, he also has a scratching post to make sure that he doesn't scratch on any of the furniture, um, but that doesn't help very well because he does scratch the furniture a lot. I also have like a litter box, a really good one. Um, this litter box is um, from one of my really good friends for, that she got for my birthday. Thank you so much. But basically it's really good because when you lift it up, it's like a colander and you can just get rid of the old litter and you can just like access, like you can access all the, or exile all the poop. You can pretty much exile all the poop um, from that litter and then you can throw away the litter and then change the um, bins so it's a pretty good it's a pretty good litter box and um, I always make sure that I clean the, his litter box every single day because it's always good to have a clean area for your cats you always have to make sure that your cat has a good litter box because if they don't then they'll start you know spraying and they'll start pooping um, out of anger and basically they're telling you something they're telling you that you know they're mad and they want you to clean um, up the mess for them because they don't feel comfortable and they feel a little overwhelmed. Um, what kind of litter that I use, the kind of litter that I use is a 99% um, dust-free litter because dust-free litter um, is good for them because if it's not dust free, the dust will get into their lungs and it's very poisonous for your kitty. So I don't recommend you know, getting litter that is not dust free. Um, also, um, his feeding habits, he is an eater. He loves to eat. The first day I got him, he actually wasn't eating as much. Um, but when I got him his um, lotus food, he um, really loves lotus. Um, I feed him his wet food because wet food is really good for your kid kitten. Um, and he is a male. So I usually always recommend that you feed them wet food, um, even if he's a male. Um, any particular cat should at least have wet food because that's how they get protein. And I make sure every single morning that he gets his protein. Um, I always make sure that his food and his water is fresh and it's good. And yeah, he is, you know, in a joy place. Um, it's basically his world. He can roam around, do whatever, have a good time, you know, and he has a great time. He loves me. So the type of um, kibble food that I give him is, um, I got it from this really good pet store. Um, he, she said that this is um, pretty good um, natural food for um, your kitten. Um, it's a chicken and rice formula. Um, it's good because um, I have his liquid food. Uh, his liquid food is actually chicken flavor. So if you have the kibble and the 
liquid food to be the same kind of um, flavor, he will really enjoy that. So he enjoys chicken flavor. So um, yeah, I just, I feed him once a day. Um, he, you know, he's gotten bigger throughout the week, so he's gonna just get bigger and bigger. And it's crazy as like a parent with animals, like they're just getting older and big and they can't live as long as you can, which sucks, but you know, you just gotta enjoy them and love them as much as you can before they pass on. And also, he is a huge player. He loves to play. He loves to attack me. I have scratches, like, all over my hands, as you guys can see. Look, yeah, that's all from him. He scratched me, like, in between my fingers. Um, I play with him a lot, and I usually use my hands. And sometimes he always, like, would claw my hands. He'd claw at my legs. I have scars on my legs from him. Um, he attacks my laptop and he attacks phones. So if you guys have a laptop or a phone, he will attack it and he will start bothering you. He definitely can get really, um, you know, he can get very ambitious and very um, excited in some moments where he could just like be very like, you know, aggravating in the moment. Usually when I'm trying to eat, that's kind of an aggravating moment. But anyways, um, yeah, my cat, he um, loves, you know, playing in the tunnel. Um, I actually been letting him out of my room and we have this little tunnel that we got him and he's been playing in that. He loves to sit on the couch downstairs. Um, and they just, you know, he's just a very good, good soul. He's very helpful to me, especially during this quarantine. But basically, um, he is a gray tabby. Um, I believe he's a gray tabby and he has rings around him. Um, like ring stripes and he's gray, he's silver, and he's got beautiful colors. He's got beautiful paws. He's got pink paws and he's got white on his bottom paws. And it's so cute. His bottom, like his underneath half is basically white. And he's so adorable. He's so adorable. And he also has an M on his forehead. What? So he, um, he definitely um, is a true um, blessing and I love him to death and I just, you know, hope that he lives a really nice, awesome, happy life because he definitely does deserve that. Um, I did introduce my dog and my cat to him, uh, to each other, sorry, and I introduced them together and he was kind of, you know, a little standoffish at first. He didn't really like her. He kind of just swatted at her, hissed at her. But, you know, recently, you know, since I've been letting him downstairs, he's been getting so much comfortable and so much happier that he's, you know, in a home, he's in a good stable home. And, you know, I've just been taking care of him and I've been taking care of my dog and making sure that both of them basically get everything that they want and they and that they need because that's you know what a parent should do especially an animal parent for me that's my goal is to make sure that they have a good subtle life and yeah for anyone else that's asking um, I am definitely wanting to pursue myself in animal care and make sure that I donate to animal um, animal slaughters, animal shelters to make sure that they all get, have good homes and not be used as slaves or used as anything or be euthanized at a young age um, when nobody wants them or owns them because I think animals deserve to have a fun, fulfilled life just as us humans, we deserve to live our lives. Why can't these, you know, beautiful beings live their lives too? Because they're just like us in some ways. They're mammals. We're mammals. We deserve to live on this planet then they deserve to live on this planet you know and dogs and cats they are always there for you they're always there they're always loving they always will love you no matter what and that's why i'm wanting to do this kind of little foundation this little um kind of activation that um, I want to bring on to my channel. Um, not only just a vlog, but just to kind of tell you guys and show you guys my animals and my experience with having an, uh, a cat and a dog. So yeah, for anybody that's having a cat and a dog, um, I hope this information is good enough for you. I hope you guys really enjoyed um, seeing my animals and um, I will see you guys for another Saturated Saturday. So yeah, stay tuned and I hope that you guys enjoyed my Tea Tuesday. And before I go, I must take a sip. Bye.